welcome and welcome back to the channel. Real quick, man, real quick. How's everybody doing? BT with JT. That's right, guys. I am on break. But for some reason, I'm still working, guys. Go figure. Now, where I'm headed, guys, I'm in my car. Uh, I am headed to uh, one of my favorite establishments, one of my favorite places. Pull apart. I'm going to tell y'all why real quick. Let me turn that down. Um, I have an uncle, my uncle in Chicago, Roosevelt Deacon Roosevelt Barnes Sr., one of my cool uncles. Um, he happened to own a PT Cruiser, first generation, 01, very first. It don't come no firster than the first year the car came out, 01. Although, man, I've been hearing there's some old 2000 model PT Cruisers out there, okay? I just ain't never worked on one. And then one lady told me that is the year of her car. Who am I to tell her she wrong? I'm nobody. So, oh, let me tell you, I'm gonna get on with the story. While I'm headed, guys, his key, he says he sticks his key in the ignition and it, sometimes it won't turn. He got to wiggle it, beat it, jam it, and it'll turn. To me, guys, uh, that is a sign of your internal lock cylinder jamming, dirty, corroded over the years. Uh, that can happen, okay? Now, do you need brand new parts? Not necessarily, guys. So what I told him, he lives in Chicago, by the way. So I'm headed to pull apart to get some other things. But while I'm here, I'm going to look at going to the PT Cruiser section. All right? Hopefully, I can find uh, first generation. It don't have to be 01. It can be 01 through 05 because the 06 change, the key cylinders change, uh, change <laughs> for the better, okay? They're more sophisticated. But anyway, hopefully there's one out here with the key in it. I got to have the key in it in order to... Y'all know how to remove the lock cylinder out of it, the ignition. You got to be able to turn the key first, and then you push up on the bottom end to release it and pull it straight out. So if I see one out here with that, I will get that lock cylinder, take it home, take it to the shop, take it apart, take all the tumblers out, clean it all up, uh, blow it down, make sure there's no debris nowhere. Basically overhauling the ignition tumblers. And go back in with brand new tumblers, okay? Now, in order to match his key, guys, I'm, I want to send him everything he needs to just install it and go, okay? So, <laughs> you can't do that unless you have one of his keys or the key code, okay? Now, I have access to his key code. All I needed was his VIN. I now have his key code. So I can build that ignition system, ignition tumblers and ignition, um, the ignition switch, not the switch, the switch is electrical. Okay, I can rebuild that to match his key. All right. Now what I did was went to Lowe's and bought a generic key, just a regular old black key. All right, so I went back to uh, my parts department, my, my establishment, and uh, got his key code, and I got the key cut to that skim code. So I'm gonna build the tumblers around that key. And I'm gonna merely, you can buy those keys for a couple bucks, two or three bucks. So I'm gonna merely mail him the key and the lock cylinder all together. So you gotta be able to stick the key in there and turn it. All right, you know it worked. And it should work to his keys. If he hasn't had anything replaced, if he hasn't had the lock cylinder replaced or the key replace. A lot of people over the years tend to swap things around. So all of this is based on everything original already on this car. If not, uh, this doesn't apply. This is gonna, this not gonna work. Okay. So I'm betting, and I didn't ask him because he probably don't know. He's not the original owner of the car. So I'm gonna send him, mail him the lock cylinder and the key. So all he gotta do, I'm gonna show him. I'm gonna send him a little, a little video clip. In fact, I'm gonna direct him to this video because I'm gonna show how to do it. You don't even have to remove the cover. You just need a long, thin screwdriver, stick up into there, turn the key on to get your old one out. Same way to put it in. They have the key already on, just stab it in there and turn it backwards. It should fall straight in and you're done. From there, he will have to remove the black key and get rid of it or just keep it for a valet function to get, because his car has skim. He can use that to get in and out of the car. You can't use it to start because you would confuse the module. In fact, hurry up and get it out of there because your module is looking for the correct key and it may jam up on you and lock you out of your own car. So you don't want that. All right. So 
once he get it in and turn it, then he can pull it out and dispose of the key and properly start using his keys. Now, depending on the condition of his key or the key that he uses, uh, it still should work because his key can be worn out a little bit on the edges and still work. Okay, uh, so yes, that will or that should eliminate all his sticking and uh, his key not turning. Uh, at least I'm hoping that's what it does. I gotta get. I am here. One of my favorite go-to spots uh, for used parts or parts that's hard to get. Okay, that happens a lot, guys. A lot of parts are not even available anymore. OEM from the dealer, so especially a lot of PT Cruiser parts. This is simply not available anymore, guys. All right, so let me go ahead and see what I can come up with, guys. Let's get it! All right, guys, I'm looking for the PT Cruiser section and I'm looking for what was that O2 Liberty we talked about earlier about the PCM so I'm going to try to snag up an O2 sensor I'm not O2 I'm going to try to snag up a PCM out of O2 Liberty because this is a Jeep and a Chrysler product I'm looking for they likely in the same area okay and I think that's down here to the left I was able to get a go-kart y'all see that Yes. Let's see. Woo! That's fun, baby. That's fun. All right, so. All right, off the bat, I see a PT down here, but it looks like a Gen 2. So I'm looking for. See, guys, you can make this easy on yourself if you look it up. See, that look like a, that's an 05 Liberty. As far as this Liberty go, because I'm looking for a PCM, it has to be, I want it to be the same year, which was a 02. Now, the PT Cruiser can be anything besides that. It just have to be a Gen 1. It doesn't have to be Vin specific. Okay, so, matter of fact, what year is this? And guys, remember, it has to have a key in it. All right. See, this is 07. It's Gen 2. Man, people don't need it. Boy, if I needed a PCM, I would surely grab that one. All right, let's keep rolling, guys. Uh, O2 Liberty and a Gen 1 PT Crew. I know that's a Gen 2. I can tell by that body. Now, the body is going to look the same. It's just... I can tell, I can tell if it's Gen 1 or Gen 2. All right, guys, I'm going to keep looking around. Oh, that's an 07 Liberty. Okay, that's fairly new. Let's get it, guys. All right, guys, look what I found. An 02 model. Okay, here's an, this is an 01, but it's the same thing. This is a Generation 1. Hey, guys, ain't nobody got to the ignition yet, which means I see, look at that, a key. Okay, now that key is black, which means this doesn't have a uh, skim. But I, I'm not chasing any kind of skim issues. I need the lock cylinder. Okay, remember what I told y'all guys? As long as, the, uh, long as the key in here, I can get the uh, lock cylinder out. All right, let me show y'all how to get this out. Okay, uh, this, this, this hole right here has two holes under here. This one is for the screw to remove the cover. I don't care about the cover. I just need the lock cylinder out. So what you do is go under here. And push up. The key has to be on. So make sure the key is in the on position. Let me turn this around. All right. Make sure the key is in the on position. Push up on the. What you're doing is pushing up on the. Y'all see that? And look. There you go, guys. I hope y'all got. Okay. Now, it, it, it helps if the cover off. But you don't really have to. Okay. And I'm not going to do any extra work. All right, I don't so have to do. basically, finagle this mug out of here because this is what I need. There you go, right there. Yes!
mission accomplished. All right, so guys, this is pretty much all I need. All right, I really needed the housing. So what I'm gonna do is go through this. So now with this being the key to this car, I can easily disassemble the housing. Okay, you will not be able to disassemble the housing if the, uh, the key is not there because you have no way to turn it. 